I'm back. I made it. Okay, so people can hear you. All right, that's Give me just a second, I'm almost finishing uh, modifying that sword, because remember I talked about it being fuzzy and I wanted to Go for it. change it a little bit. That won't be changed. Alright, I sent you the updated one on Skype so you can look at it, see what you think. Okay. No, that's fine. What's up? Well, shit.
Hey guys, DCAT here with another live stream, and we are back once again. This time we are not on Darkscape like we normally would like we nor would normally be. But we are still doing Darkscape related content and stuff. So as you can see, we are having our very first clan meeting of Thine Reapers. I am DCAT682, the uh, deputy leader of the clan. And this is Kill Vec. Eh. He is the leader of Thine Reapers. So today uh, I thought we would uh, cover a f I mean we will we this meeting is set up so that we will go over a few important things and then we'll open up uh, chat to talk to um, to ask questions to the uh, clan uh, I mean, about the clan questions for clan members like anything you guys need to know about that I did not answer previously in the cl clan I mean in the stream and um, at one point in the clan in the stream we will be asking for uh, your guys' help or ideas you guys might have that is super important that we need because I've been talking to kill and some of this stuff we're just stumped on we're just stumped on so without further ado let's start with the laws of thine reapers this is very important. Kill if you would mind uh, reminding people in chat every few minutes that there is a clan meeting in progress and how to get here. That would be greatly appreciated because my mind can't be split that many directions at once. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this the document I'm reading everyone can have access to on uh, the Facebook group. Uh, but a lot of people, um, this will also be available on our clan website when that is finished, but that is not, we're not currently there yet with the website. So let's just go over the laws real quick. This is stuff that uh, Kil Kilvec and I have uh, talked upon multiple times. We actually wrote this up the very first time we were planning for the uh, uh, clan. Or... Yeah, after the clan was created the very first day, so let's just get started. Our missions are to monopolize, or nearly monopolize, runite, the runite mines, elder trees, rock tails, magic trees, and monkfish. And... Well, that was interesting. One thing that I'm always surprised about is how no one... Everyone, even with the shed weapons and you can't ac accidentally attack someone, people still do that. I don't know. Okay, so uh, that that's our goal. Um, so pretty much we're going to be trying to kill everyone who tries to access those areas who are not part of our clan. Um, how we, um, But we'll get into how we're going to be running those parties at a future point in the stream. Uh, recruitment. Guys, this is so important. Oh my god, I cannot stress this enough. The clan has gotten to a point where I cannot check. I mean, I'm personally, I mean, I am the one who goes through the clan li list and adds people to the clan list on a regular basis. Kilvec also does this to a lesser extent, but he still does this as well. And so does, uh... The, uh, our, our new deputy, or not deputy, overseer, six dank meme. He does this the least of all, but we all do this overall. We go through the list of of members and uh, compare it to our master list, which we have typed up in a Google document. And uh, we have. Uh, I stopped doing this at. 90 members it took it's t at 90 members it took me an hour and a half to uh, go through the entire list of uh... wait we're not what's up with twitch chat twitch chat is not working right now there we go it's working actually all the silence thought it was broken okay Let's get chat back up and running. Okay, so we 
it's not physically possible for us to keep track of every member in the clan by like who I mean, everyone has access to recruit mem different everyone has access to the clan to recruit members everyone in the clan can recruit members the only problem is we rank people up the first three or four ranks are based on uh, time requirements which once again we'll get to at a later point in the stream but we need you guys to work with us here because we don't know when you recruit someone I mean yes they appear in the list but as I said at 90 members it took me an hour and a half to figure out who we had and who left and who joined and it's physically impossible for us now to uh, keep up with everything so uh, in order so any ranking recruit members but the date members were recruited must be recorded and sent to an administrator or up we have uh, yeah. So anyone in the clan with the rank of administrator or higher, which is overseer, deputy leader, or leader, has access. Well, has admin and up will get just send your information to those people. Admin and up. So like, I recruited uh, Kilvec. Uh, the date was 10-3-2015. and that will help us a lot. Otherwise, they, the the members will be a m member of the clans, but they will not have the opportunity to rank up. And we are we currently have uh, actually how many members do we have who don't have the ability to rank up at this point in time? Let me double check that. Let's see. We have a hundred and twenty one members, and we have uh, on the members list. We have 121. Wow. That so everyone is current. Cur everyone in the clan currently is in the position to rank up after their week or a few weeks to their next rank. So that is pretty impressive that we have everyone. Last time I checked, we had 119. So since then, we got all the members. Sweet. Uh, so let's move on job required so we so for the um, combat parties we're going to be having uh, so this is guys this is how we are going to be making money as a clan you separately not we oh geez I'm not saying this right <laughs> okay so as a clan we will be r running these exhibitions or combat parties to different resources each party will have a uh, I mean, it is required that each party will have a uh, one melee combat person, one ranged combat person, one magic combat person and one hybrid combat member. E then you will need one resource collector which will have the ability to mine or collect the required resource. And I'm editing the job duty right now because I mistyped that originally. There we go. So that's at least five members or four members or it's yeah, five members. In order to make money, oh yes, uh, one that. Okay, kill if I'm failing. Can you describe what we've decided with the resources with combat party, bank runner, scouts, etc? Uh, give me a second. Okay, so let me just restart that. So the way to make money in this clan is participating in these resource exhibitions. Our goal is to be the only groups that able on a server to collect a specific resource. At a future date, we will expand out of server 200, so like we will have parties on server 200, 201, 202, etc, and etc. Uh, we will have a... Uh, resource collector. Each party will have one resource collectors, four combat parties, and one 
Yeah. One resource collectors and four combat parties. The job duties will be to collect the required res of will be to collect the required resources and keep out other member I mean, I mean not other members. Anyone from another clan. Or anybody from another anything. If they're not part of the clan, they don't get access to our resources. Welcome to the stream, Fonzie Argon 2. Welcome. Uh, each group will require a uh, bank runner, which the requirement for that is to be a high agility on the, um, high agility. A pack yak is optional, but it will really help. Uh, what we're I forgot to uh, write down the requirement to be a bank runner. Did did we say an admin up or what was what was our requirements? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was admin up. So the bank runners have to be a trusted uh, member of the uh, clan so that they don't make off with the resources. So they, the only way to become one of those will be an administrator. You would have to be an administrator up, and uh, they will have you. Yeah, the yeah scouts so we have this role we have this role in the clan where that no one has accomplished yet uh, eighty percent of the first resource collection trip will go to whoever finds a resource so far I've been the only one who found the uh, resources other uh, actually killed I think killed didn't you uh, find the bloodwood trees well I pointed out that they existed yeah Okay so, okay, so the only I found a couple uh, rare trees, you know, the uh, the U up by uh, Otto's yeah. Grotto. Yes. Okay, so uh, no one ha who is eligible for the bank for the uh, uh, scouting has found anything yet. The to be, I mean, anyone other than leader or deputy leader will get the first eighty percent of any resource trip to the resource that you found. So that is an incentive to help find uh, things like the rock tails. Yeah, we have no idea where the fuck those are. Please get better internet. What? Uh, oh, I forgot. Well, there goes chat. Let me hop back in. I forgot about the five minutes things. Uh, cat coins. We don't need to talk about cat coins right now. They kind of died. Get better internet. Um, we we've got perfect connection to the Twitch server. Any problems you might be having is between you and Twitch. So yeah, we are we actually have perfect connection right now to the Twitch servers, which is a very a big surprise. Okay, so we are looking for any runite resources, elder trees, resources, rock tails, and magic trees. Uh, if if you find another resource, please let us know, and you might be eligible for that resource. Okay, if we ever end up collecting that in the future. Um, yes. Uh, when you find one of the resources, get in, please get in contact with uh, deputy. I mean, deputy leader or leader and we will uh, let you know we will fo we will follow you to the resources and let you know if those resources have already been discovered or not because we have already discovered a large amount of the resources but obviously we don't know all of them so in the combat party we would like one melee member one range one magic and one hybrid Uh, money. All re okay, so the reasons why you want to participate in these uh, cl clan exhibitions is that all resources and gears earned will go to the leader of the exhibition. The resources and gear will be sold to the grand exchange of the exhibition's leader's choosing. So whether that is Deep Wilderness, uh, Ardugne, or Ardone, or whatever you guys learn that pronunciation is or Varrock slash Lumbridge Grand Exchange that is where you uh, yeah that is where the resources will be sold at the leaders uh, exhibition leaders choosing the money will then be split up equally among all members of the party uh, if cash cannot be divided evenly the remainder goes to the miners so like 
let's say a cash is split between four people ev and there's one gold left the uh i said miner the resource collector so if there's one gold left over after everyone got all got the even numbers of money the one coin left over does not go to the party leader it goes to the resource collector Uh, ranks. Okay, this is the important part uh, for a lot of members. Uh, the rank of corporal you will receive after one week of being in the clan. Sergeant is two weeks of being in the clan. Lieutenant is four weeks. Cap Captain is seven weeks. And general is ten weeks of being in the clan. And the ranks above admin, administrator, which I believe is administrator, overseer, deputy leader, and leader, can be earned by... Uh, based on trust and exhibition leaders have to be uh, an administrator and up so that is those are the laws of the land I mean of the fine reapers a lot of them is pretty much just and a lot of them is just setting up uh, what can and cannot be done uh, we have not yeah what can and cannot be done also guys important for anyone participating in exhibitions we have no rules about uh, PKing in the clan I mean other clan members in the clans but on exhibitions if you cannot PK your other clan members combat party members minor re I mean resource collectors anyone in the clan no if you do that you will be removed from the clan combat party technically there's one rule what <laughs> what well yeah technically well, yeah. there's one rule yes, <laughs> yes. Combat parties are no laughing matters to me. I, it's how we all make our money. I think that's covered everything up. If you guys, I mean, you guys are now accountable to following the rules of the Nine Reapers, and if not, you will have. There will be uh, consequences that we will enact against you starting after this point. If you guys want to review this stream, please check. I mean, th there will be a highlight and a post to the clan at the end. I mean, on the clan Facebook group after the night is up. So I guess now that we've covered the laws of Thine Reapers, we will be opening up the conversation to questions. So if anyone has any questions, that is now is the time to uh, post them in the chat. Um, so, WW. Twitch. Okay. So, uh, now then, I think we can, uh, start talking about. Well, we wait for questions about what's going to happen afterwards, because we've already gone over pre uh, the laws of Flying Reapers, and uh, the consequences will be uh, eat. I don't want us to look at that message. I know exactly what that message is gonna be say. Please don't. Oh, actually no. Why don't you put it? Put a banner for gold mine, bro. Kind of nice passive income for streamers, lol. Why don't you put a banner for Goldmine? I don't even know what that is. Uh, we, our clan is, uh, Thine Reapers. We are not Goldmine. So, that, yeah. Any questions going on right now? Oh, delay on Twitch, that's why. Yeah, 30 seconds. Only one resource collector per group. Uh, the resource collectors depend upon the how many resource collectors will depend on the size of the uh, or and what is being collected. Uh, the number of resource collectors will be at the discretion of the uh, exhibition leader. I would say there's going to be a, a, a minimum one resource collectors and a bank runner. But 
or things yeah, like Yeah, I mean, it, it, it really depends on the resource. Like, if we're going out for Elder Logs, the Elder Trees are specific to individual players, so we can take as many resources collectors as we want. Um, now, Runite, on the other hand, you know, there's, there's very limited amounts of Runite, so we probably only need one. Kiel got Kiel, well. Kiel answered that question correctly. Yep. Um. What else can we talk about while we wait for more questions? Fonzie has a question. Come on, Fonzie, ask your question. Yeah, guys, just ask your question whenever, and we will answer them as soon as. Uh, we get the question to pop up. Uh, do we want to talk about anything? Right, Fonzie. I mean, not uh, Kilvik. Do you have any uh, thing you want to throw up on the stream? Um, I mean, not anything that I need to discuss. But if anyone has questions about the uh, clan websites or or wants to ask if we can include anything or. You know, once to ask about what is going to be included, you know, that would now would be a good time to do that. There are a few things that I know I forgot to mention. Let me quickly uh, check the Thine Reapers group. Oh, there's actually been a new post somewhere. Oh, okay, that was a higher quality picture. That's what he did. Um, um, where's my, uh, you'll have to be more post. specific, Fonz, uh, what, what exactly are you wanting to know about the mechanics of the clan? How does your clan work in general? Um, laissez-faire. <laughs> the, uh, the website is not up and running yet, I'm working on coding it right now. We do have a Facebook group, which you guys are allowed to join. You do have to be a member of the clan, though, so just uh, hop on to the search thing. Actually, I, I should be able to find... Uh, hold on, give me a quick second. <coughs> you do... There is a face... We do have a Facebook group that you guys can uh, join. You have to be a member of the clan to join those, so just hop on to Thine Reaper, I and mean, the link I just posted, post your Darkscape name, and then uh, at the top of that page, there should be a link to uh, the Thine Reaper's Facebook group. Just hop to that, and then click uh, uh, Ask to Join, or something around those lines to join. Yes, uh, Buckman, the uh, bank runner is a mule. Um, that's why we... We would like the uh, bank runners to have high agility, and summoning would be a plus as well. Yeah. Although you will be a mule making money. Uh, yeah, bank I mean, runners, you are going to get paid for it. Bank so. runners are very important because that just allows the party to stay out longer, meaning they'll have more money when they finally come back. I mean, more resources when they finally come back. And... Uh, like I mentioned earlier, all money is shared equally. Resource collectors get the whatever coins that don't get divided evenly. And the reason we decided resource collectors do that would be because what well, gets the extra coin or so is because being in the clan and simply having a group up at the resource is good. We are going to try to have people up there as often as possible. But, uh, they, there's no making money unless you have a resource collector there, so. I feel that it's just fair for the, uh, resource collector to get the, uh, bonus resource, I mean, the bonus money, I guess, if that makes sense. Okay, where is my clan meeting post? Laws of Thine Reapers, we've covered. Oh, yes! Uh, guys. There has been an incident recently that we aren't going to be going into details with, but just because something is not against the rules in the clans, like the Laws of Flying Reapers, we have not mentioned uh, scamming or PKing. That means that the, that unless it the uh, thing 
and the object or the item in the room is wait unless the rule isn't unless so if something is not in the laws of the clan that means you are allowed to do it unless it breaks runescape's rules so anything along the lines of scamming luring or anything along those lines of clan members or anyone else will be you will be removed from the clan if uh, discovered that that's been going on because that is against the face and that is against runescapes the, the rules of runescapes and darkscape so it's obviously we're not gonna allow, tolerate that if that makes sense I believe so um, uh, Fonz asks what open positions do we have right now uh, technically we have a lot of open positions but again a lot of the higher ranks are trust based the lower ranks are based on time spent in clan. Now you can skip that time if we get to the point where we can trust you. But I mean, it, it's it's not easy to earn our trust. Okay. How I interpreted that question was a little different, but so uh, I'm just going to answer what I believe the question was, just so we cover the question. Go for it, because I might have misunderstood. Uh, he I did say think he, he was. Re I think he was referring to the exhibitions, and uh, members of the exhibition will be decided by the exhibition leaders, which is run the a any ad rank admin and up. And uh, all you have to do is I mean, they'll just ask in the clan chat if anyone wants to do a certain exhibition, and then he will decide based on your levels and stuff what role you will be. So let's say you are a main uh, mage, and you have a re wood cutting level of 99, and we're going to uh, the elder trees. He might have you be a mage defender or a resource collector, but you can't. But please, guys, you let him know what what role you want. So at what level combat or skill level do people actually become useful? That I know we've I know we've mentioned this. Didn't we mention this in the rule? Um, no, I've read the wait the laws. Oh, okay. This is it. I just skipped over that part. That's why I don't. That's why I didn't remember. So in the laws of fine reapers, I'd like to apologize, guys, because I did skip over this. I did not already let's say it. My fault. My fault. Okay. So to be a combat mem. Uh, member of the combat party uh, level 50 in any combat or above the higher your combat level the better though um, protect re your your role is to protect the resource collectors and the rest of the combat party and your role is also to keep people out of the resource area good question mr. Buckman let me pop and, this and the skill levels the skill levels depend on the resource I keep forgetting about the auto log out. I believe the like elder logs is like 85 wood cutting. I'm I could be wrong. Oh, Kill answered the question. Never mind. Well, you got the answer anyways, Fonzie. Uh, um, we do have we now have a clan banner. That's something Kill uh, threw together. And guys, I'm just saying, look at how awesome the banner is. Uh, there is a, there's actually a newer version that was posted about three minutes before we went live. So, uh, yeah. About three or so minutes before we went live with a better quality sword. But he Killed was able to throw this together, so I, he's ra raising my ex expectations on the clan site. So... Kilv is in charge of the clan site. It is going to turn out looking fairly good, I'm going to assume. Yeah. Anything else we want to talk about? Um, unless we have anything else to talk about, we... Oh! They're useful if something useful. They are useful if they do something useful. What? 
Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm com- What I'm happened? Com what happened? Oh, it's just the the statement. It's like saying, you know, uh, food is good if it's good, you know. <laughs> I guess that is true. I guess that, that is, is true. true. That is true. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Okay, anything else? Um, fan meeting. Uh. uh Oh wait, no, that's a clan website. If, yeah, quick reminder: if you want to talk about the clan website that will, or suggest anything for the clan website, kill is a person you want to talk to. You can suggest things now or uh, anyway, or at a later point in time to kill. Kill that. Uh, uh, divination uh, is useful to everybody at all times because. Divination, not only are you able to gather a, a good number of resources per day just by yourself, there's a lot of useful uh, healing items and there's like porters that can actually reduce the number of bank runners that we need and there's a lot of useful things that you can do with divination. So, I mean, it's, it's not useful per se as like a resource we want to control. But it's useful for actually controlling things. You see what I mean? Okay, how do you join? Uh, you can meet up with Kilvec. Uh, Kilvec, where are you right now? What world and what location? I am in Falador Bank on the west side. You can meet on what world? 200? Yes. You can meet up with Kilvec on World 200 at West Valdor Bank, and he will uh, send you uh, a clan invite when you're there. Uh, can you put? A, can you wear the clan cape and place a clan vex outside the bank? Just to uh, show. Uh, I don't have a clan cape. I can run down to the uh, clan. Uh, clan place cape right and now. Place a clan vex I don't have the a bank. cape in my. Bank. To, I, uh, 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 I don't Hold have on. a clan cape. I can run down to the uh, clan, uh, clan place cape right now. That was weird. The clan. Uh, sorry about that. Somehow uh, the uh, stream started itself up on me. Uh, so uh, yeah, you'll be wearing a cape in the uh, Faldor Bank West, with, and he will invite you uh, if you want. Uh, Chat, you can let us know your in-game name, your, your Darkscape username, and we'll uh, be looking for you. Okay, let's. All right, so I just got a question from I love my milf. I think, yeah. I was watching the stream. How many people do you guys currently have? Uh, it was 141, uh, right? 121. 121. 121. Okay. You're a little high there. <laughs> Uh, gotcha. So, is there rewards related to non-collect skills like divination? Then, uh, with divination, um, you don't get paid for. Uh, I, how do I say this? Um, you get paid for being in the party, and if you use your divination skills to allow you to collect more resources, you will then get paid. Uh, the same as everyone else in the party, but it'll the, the profits you will make will be more, if that makes sense, because it's allowing you to collect more resources and uh, bank. If is that answering your questions? Gil, do you think I answered the question? Is there rewards related to non-collect skills like divinations? Then. Um. If yeah, I mean, I just say that, uh, you know, if, if it's not a clan-run exhibition, then the any money you make from it is yours to keep, and any skills that you can use later on, you know, will only help you gain you and the rest of your exhibition gain more pay when you actually do go out for exhibitions. Like with Divination, you know, that can help you get more money during that exhibition but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're you're not going to get paid for actually training it uh, 
Actually, why did I not do this earlier? And I will be right back. Okay. So I guess I'll be taking the questions from now on. Let's see. Uh, yeah. What have we? I'll be not back discussed? in like two minutes. Clan meeting. We 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 already discussed the recruitment. So yes, with recruitment, guys, please quick reminder. Please let us know who you recruit. Any admin and up, and, and please let the any administrator ranking up know who you recruited and what day and what the date was when they, you recruit, recruited them. That way, we'll be able to uh, put each member in the uh, master uh, members list and uh, be able to uh, keep track of when you, your rank is to level up. So if a bank runner uses using porters, yes. I already don't know where you're going there. Yes, it'll just allow you to store more and more, store more resources quicker, or take more re yeah. It it just helps your uh, group overall, and you might be requested to join a few more exhibitions at a future date if you have the ability to do that over someone who doesn't have the ability to do that. Once again, uh, each mem each uh, exhibition is run by an admin plus who will who will uh, take the role of exhibition leaders, and they have the say of wh who can join, who's doing, who's doing what, and where the mon and where the resources will be sold. Uh, we talked about recruitment. Uh, clan websites we've talked about and I think that's pretty much everything unless you guys have any more questions and the we'll be waiting we'll until Kilvec gets back and then we can... I am back oh he's already back so I think it's about time we start our first clan event I believe our first official clan event for every member who wants to we will be fighting the giant mole in Falador right after the clan meeting and actually I'll be continuing to stream it here so uh, Kilvec do we have a strategy yeah. on I mean I don't know the mole I don't know the mole I don't know any bosses other than Rex so what's a clan what's a strategy we're going to be taking for the mole um I mean the mole is interesting because what'll happen is it's really easy to damage, but then it'll dig, and you have to go find it. So the plan is essentially find it, hit it until it digs, and then we split up and find it and wait until the other clan members, when you, when you find it, call it out, wait till the other clan members get there, start attacking. I, I would think that would be our best bet. I've only done mole a few times. Any uh, combat state thought? Any combat styles or like what should I we don't use? think it's weak to anything, so you can bring anything. And if you guys are not part of the clans, you can also join us. I guess you can say this would be our recruitment drive for you guys. I don't know. So let me pull up chat. Because I need to be able to see this outside. I, mean, I need to be able to see this during the battle. How do I pop this out? That is because I have it pulled up elsewhere. Pop out. Lose. And... Uh, Buckman, what's your level? Your combat level. Hmm. I just realized I have all my food in the wrong side of Valador. I mean, White Wolf. Yeah. I've got about uh, nine open spaces because I've only got a certain amount of food. All my good combat stuff's on the wrong side of White Wolf Mountain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you should be okay, but, I mean, 
you wouldn't want to try and solo it. In fact, even I wouldn't want to solo it. What level solo? Uh, I, I... A group of people, low-level players, can take on the mole. And it's not a big deal, but... Trying to solo the mole is... Uh, it's frustrating even at, like, level 110. Because of the digging. Because of the yeah, not only that, but, like, y you just don't do enough damage to, like, make it worth your time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Last time I tried the solo, I was, like, level 113, and that was on RuneScape 3, and, uh, it took me an hour to kill the thing. <laughs> This is going to be my oh god! This is going to be my most valuable crossing yet. Um, kill. Do you mind meeting me in Sears? I mean, Catherby, and t escorting me. Uh, I'm not oh, gonna yeah. joke. I, I, this is actually this making, is me, actually nervous. making me nervous. How I'd much? have to go How over much? White Wolf just to get there. Uh, no. I'm not gonna joke. I'm not, gonna I'm not joking. I'm not this joking. is actually, this making, is actually me making me nervous. The how much loot? Uh, how much loot? Uh, what are you what are you transporting? Uh, full dragon hide. Uh, actually, why don't I just put that? I mean, on? if you really want to, you can spend the 2k, um, and transfer from Narda to Shantae Pass. Full dragon hide, all my archery stuff. Yeah, I'd say I'd say spend the 2k coins and go ahead and go from Narda to Shantae Pass. That's medium to low, so it's a little bit of a safer route. Okay, so 2k from uh, Shantae's Pass to Narda, and then I would need two more k to get back, right? Right. right. So you could k. always run to Narda. And save the 2k that, that way. That is true. Where is Narda? You cross the Elid and then head south. That's actually not that far. But I don't have my desert stuff, so I'm just gonna pay 4k. I run through it, it's like, you know... Uh, eh. world you don't 200. take enough damage to be worried about, you know? Uh, yeah, just meet up with Kilvec in, in World 200 at the west bank of Alador. Although, isn't the mole near the east bank? Uh, yes, it is. You might want to. It's switch actually in the park. You might want to. You might want to switch to east bank then. Ah, uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, so just head over to the east ba bank of uh, Valley on World 200. Let me go ahead and move the Vex. So to Polynesia and then Nardo. Oh, it's only 200. Wait. It's only 200 GP to get 